Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up America. We are looking at the ongoing Dr. Fauci saga that nobody's talking about, but the National Institute of Health fulfilling a Freedom of Information request detailing their financial records. Um, and what do you know it? Dr. Anthony Fauci was among several people that benefited from a $350 million royalty payment. All of this hidden conveniently by the NIH. Joining us now for more, the founder and CEO of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Angievsky, has been on this story from the start when this story was not a popular one to be following. Uh, Adam, great to have you back on. Just take us through what, what's going on here. Well, thank you, Rob. Thanks for having me on this morning. Here's the, here's the record. Number one, last September we filed at our auditors at OpenTheBooks.com a Freedom of Information Act request for the database of royalties. Think about this. Th these are payments from third-party providers like a pharmaceutical company back to an NIH scientist, the National Institutes of Health government-employed scientist, for a co-invention. When NIH didn't even respond, they didn't even acknowledge our request, we sued them in federal court with Judicial Watch as our lawyers in October. By February 1st, they had to produce documents. The judge told them they had to, you know, they were mandated to produce, and they're producing 300 pages of line-by-line -line royalties per month. They admit, the agency admits 3,000 pages that they're holding of these line-by-line -line royalties. Every single line could be a conflict of interest. And today on your program, I'm happy to break the news that because of the first 1,200 pages of production, we're able to forecast that during a 10-year period, a massive largesse of these royalties enriched the agency and its scientists, and that top-line number is $350 million. Wow. And yes, Dr. Fauci received royalties as well. How much did Dr. Fauci get? Any idea? So here's the deal. Although they disclosed top-line aggregate numbers, so we can forecast $350 million in payments over 10 years, they actually redacted the individual amounts to scientists. So I can tell you Dr. Fauci's name is alongside 1,700 scientists receiving the payments. Wow. I can't tell you the amount that flowed to Fauci or the other 1,700 scientists because they blacked it out, they erased it. And Rob, they also erased the third party payer name. So for instance, the pharmaceutical company, if they're paying the royalty to Fauci, right, right. I can't tell you who's paying it. Okay, so you can't that out. They redacted that as well. So, Adam, that's fascinating because, you know, I'm thinking to myself, we just went through, you know, the most costly pandemic in global history. We're still in, the, in, in dealing with it. Uh, a lot of these pharmaceutical companies that make things like vaccines and therapeutics have made a whole lot of money and they've been paid up front. We don't know if any of those companies were donating directly to the NIH or Dr. Anthony Fauci himself because that was redacted. Is that accurate? Yes, think about this. Every single year, NIH doles out $32 billion and, worth and, of and grants. Why would they? why would they do that, by the way? So NIH funds all kinds of research. Basically, pharmaceutical companies nowadays, in many instances, they off-brand their research back to government, back to the NIH, or right. NIH funds their experiments. And so, but so Adam, is it safe to assume that if you want, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, if you, is it safe to assume if you want to land a big government contract at some point and you're a big pharmaceutical company, I'm not calling out any particular company, but let's say you are, would it make sense to donate to the government? <laughs> well, it's, it makes sense to have a very good working relationship with, for instance, former head of the NIH, Francis. Francis Collins right. or Dr. Anthony Fauci. They dole out $32 billion a year. It goes to 56,000 grant recipients. Unbelievable. So tens of billions of dollars are going out the door each year. And now we know for the first time that tens of millions of dollars, about 36 million a year, right. are coming back from companies to the agencies and its scientists enriching them. Adam. Now we need a lot more transparency on this, Rob. We need to see those individual payments we're going back to court to try to unredact these documents. So come back and see me when, when you get that unredacted. I, that is fascinating stuff. And you, you are one of the only groups doing work like this. Adam Angievsky, OpenTheBooks.com. Thanks so much for being back with us. Good to see you.